Grade for Learners, this is Teacher Angie, your virtual teacher for English 4, Quarter 3, Week 7. Just last week, you have learned about inferring speaker's tone, mood, and purpose. Today, I will take you to a fun-filled learning experience where you will encounter a series of interesting activities and exercises which will help you accomplish the learning competency intended for this week. At the end of this virtual learning session, you are expected to analyze the story in terms of its elements. Are you ready, kids? Let's start! Before we start our first activity, I want you to bring out your self-learning module, paper, and pen, and I expect you to listen and participate. For our first activity, you have to answer the questions based on your analysis of the given movie or story posters. Let's try number one. Where do you think the story take place? Please look at the picture. Is it letter A in the forest? B under the sea? C in the school? Or D near the river? Please write your answer in your answer sheet. Number 2. Who do you think are the characters of the story? Letter A, zoo animals. B, marine animals. C, school children. Or letter D, insects. For numbers 3 to 5, you have to put the pictures that show story events in order by writing 1, two, or three below the picture. Let's try number three. Next, we have number four. And number five. And that ends our first activity. Are you done answering? Very good. Now, let us check your answers. For number one, the correct answer is letter B, under the C. Number two, we have letter A, zoo animals. For number three, the correct order is one, three, and two. For number four, we have three, two, and one. And lastly, for number five, the correct answer is two, one, and three. Did you get all your answers right? Very good. Did you enjoy our first activity? Do you now have an idea on what you will be learning in this instructional video? Great! Now, let us have another activity that would lead you to a better understanding regarding our lesson today. In this activity, you have to listen and understand the story and answer the corresponding questions. But before that, let me ask you this question. Have you ever seen a caterpillar? How about a butterfly? Uh-huh. Our story for today is all about Mary and the caterpillar. Mary and the caterpillar. Mary had a flower garden. She visits it every day after school. She cleans the flower beds every weekend. Oh, how she loved her garden. One day, Mary noticed that the leaves of the gomomela were eaten. And she found a caterpillar in one of the leaves. 
she was about to destroy it, but it looked so small and harmless that she decided to leave it there. She watched the caterpillar eat the leaves. After a few more days, Mary didn't find the caterpillar anymore. She found it in a rolled leaf. Perhaps it grew tired of eating and now wants to sleep. The following week, Mary looked for the caterpillar in the rolled leaf. It wasn't there. She thought it died. Then, she saw a beautiful yellow butterfly. Could it be that this butterfly was a caterpillar? Mary wondered. Did you enjoy the story? Okay, now let's proceed to the questions. For question number one, who is the main character of the story? Is it letter A, Terry? B, Mary? C, the butterfly? Or D, the caterpillar? Question number two. Where did the story happen? Letter A, in the house. B, in the school. C, in the flower garden. And letter D, in the city. Question number three. What happened to the leaves of the gomamella plant? Letter A. It grew some flowers. B. It was eaten by the caterpillar. Letter C. It was rolled by the caterpillar. And D. It turned yellow. Question number four. Mary did not kill the caterpillar. Why? Letter A. She was happy to see the caterpillar. Letter B. She was angry at the caterpillar. Letter C. She took pity the caterpillar. And letter D. She loved the caterpillar. And for the last question, what do you think happened to the caterpillar? Letter A. The caterpillar died. B. The caterpillar changed into a butterfly. Letter C, the caterpillar transferred to another plant. And D, the caterpillar got lost. Now, let us check your answers. For question number one, the correct answer is letter B, Mary. Mary is the main character of the story. For number two, the correct answer is letter C, in the flower garden. The story happened in the flower garden. For number three, the correct answer is letter B. It was eaten by the caterpillar. The gomamella leaf was eaten by the caterpillar. For number four, the correct answer is letter C. She took pitied the caterpillar. Mary took pitied the caterpillar. That's why she did not kill it. And lastly, for number 5, the correct answer is letter B. The caterpillar changed into a butterfly. Did you get all your answers right? Now, let us study. The story you've heard tells about Mary and the caterpillar that she found in the flower garden. A story is composed of three basic elements, namely setting, Characters and Plot Characters Characters are people or animals in the story. They perform the actions and speak the dialogue, moving the story along the plot line. Example In the story, the characters are Mary and the Caterpillar. Next, we have the setting. Setting talks about the place and the time that the events in the story happen. The example of setting is 
the story happened in a flower garden in different time settings. Next, we have the plot. Plot is made up of the events that happened in the story. It consists of beginning, middle, and the ending. In the beginning plot, it gives a problem faced by the main character. In the story, the beginning plot is Mary noticed that the leaves of the gumamela were eaten. She found a caterpillar in one of the leaves. Next is the middle plot. It presents the actions made by the characters to solve the problem. Example, Mary was about to destroy the caterpillar but it looked so small and harmless that she decided to leave it there. She watched the caterpillar eat the leaves. So that is the middle plot. And lastly, we have the ending plot. It gives the solution to the problem. Example, the following week, Mary looked for the caterpillar but it wasn't there. Then, she saw a beautiful yellow butterfly. And that is the ending plot. Are you now familiar with the elements of a story? Now, try this and other exercises to practice your understanding about the topic. Good luck! Let us practice. For the part one, you have to give the character or characters present in each sentence. Are you ready? Now, let us proceed to item number one. Number one, Mira felt glad as Sandra gave her a birthday present. Number two, the prince chased Cinderella. For number three, the frog turns into a handsome prince. Number four, as the rainy season came, poor grasshopper ran out of food. And lastly, number five, since there is a pandemic, little Olivia studies her lesson at home. Now, let us check your answers. For the first sentence, the characters are Mira and Sandra. For number two, we have Cinderella and the prince. Number three, we have the frog or the prince. For number four, we have the grasshopper. And number five, we have little Olivia. Okay, now let's proceed to part two. For this part, you have to give the setting of the story. Number 1. As the night ended, the sun splashed across Olivia's bed. She opened her eyes slowly. The first thing she saw was the beautiful pink flower on her table. Now, write the time and location. Are you done? Now let's proceed to item number 2. Danica loves to visit her grandmother in her farmyard on weekends. She loves to sit with her Lola Martha on her rocking chair and watch the fireflies at night. Write the time and location. Now let's have item number three. The lion is called the king of the forest. He is big and strong. So, the smaller animals are afraid of him except his wife, the queen lioness. One morning, the king of the forest was in his irritable mood. His wife, the queen, had said something he did not like. Queen lioness had told king lion that his breath was unpleasant. So, king called the animals. Now write the time and location. 
Now, let us check your answers. For item number one, the time is morning or dawn, and the location is bedroom. For number two, the time is weekends or night, and the location is farm. And for item number three, the time is morning, and the location is forest. Okay, you're almost done. Let's proceed to part three. For the last part of this activity, you have to give the plot of the given story. Our story is entitled, The Hunter. Please listen because you're going to write the plot. Okay, now let's start. One early morning, Merta decided to go hunting in the forest on the other side of the river. He rode on his banka. When he reached the river bank, he tied his banka to a nearby tree. Then, he walked through the forest. It was already noontime, but still he had no catch. I'm very unlucky this day, he said, so he decided to go back to his banka. From a distance, he saw something inside his banka. What is inside my banka? He asked himself. Is it a lion or a tiger? I'm afraid. He walked slowly towards his banka. Oh, it's a deer. A deer is sleeping inside my banka. He whispered, How lucky am I today? Slowly, he untied his panka and sailed back home. Now, it's your time to write the plot of the story, and I will give you three minutes to do this one. Good luck! Are you done? Now, let us check your answer. So, this is the plot of the story, the beginning. The beginning plot is, one early morning, Merto decided to go hunting in the forest on the other side of the river. He rode in his banka. Then, the middle plot is, it was already noontime, but still he had no catch. So, he decided to go back to his banka. And the ending plot is, from a distance, he saw something inside his banka. A deer is sleeping in his banka. Did you get all your answers right? Very good. Congratulations, kids! You can now determine the elements of a story. Now, you can now proceed to another set of activity. Good luck! Let us practice more. In this part, you have to analyze this given story in terms of its elements, and you have to use a story diagram. Our story is entitled, The Hare and the Frogs. This is adopted from Aesop's Fables. Now let's start. The hares once gathered together and talked about the unhappiness of their lot. Open as they were to dangers on all sides, they lacked the strength and courage to hold their own. People, dogs, birds, and beasts of prey were all their enemies. Rather than endure such bad treatment any longer, they one and all decided to end their miserable lives. Desperately, they rushed in as a body towards a nearby pool of water, intending to drown themselves. A number of frogs were sitting on the bank. When they heard the noise of the hares, the frogs slipped into the water and hid themselves in the depths. Then one of the older hares cried out to his companions, Stop, my friends, and take heart. Let us not destroy ourselves after all. See, here are creatures who are afraid of us and who must, therefore, be still more timid than we ourselves are. Now, it's your time to complete this story diagram. I will give you five minutes to do this. 
Please pause this video for 5 minutes. Now let us check your answers. So the title of the story is The Hares and the Frogs. The characters are hares and frogs and the setting is in the pond. So this is the beginning plot. The hares once gathered together and talk about the unhappiness of their lot. And the middle plot is the hares rush in as a body towards a nearby pool of water intending to drown themselves. Then a number of frogs were sitting on the bank. When they heard the noise of the hares, the frogs leaped into the water and hid themselves in the depths. And the ending plot is, the hares realize that there are still creatures who are afraid of them. We are almost done with our session, kids. Now, let us give emphasis on the terms that we need to remember. Let us remember, a story is composed of three basic elements, namely the setting, plot, and the character. The characters are people or animals in the story. They perform the actions and speak the dialogue, moving the story along the plot line. Setting talks about the place and the time that the events in the story happen. Plot is made up of the events that happen in the story. It consists of the beginning, the middle, and the ending. Beginning. It gives a problem faced by the main character. Middle. It presents the actions made by the characters to solve the problem. And last, we have the ending. It gives the solution to the problem. Now, let, let us check how far you have understand our topic today. Let us assess. You have to read and understand the questions and write your answer in your answer sheet. Question number one. It refers to the time and location in which the story takes place. Is it letter A, plot, B, setting, C, conflict, or D, character? Question number two. What is the person or animal which takes part in the action of a story called? A. Plot B. Setting C. Conflict or D. Character Question number 3. A short story's plot is made up of Letter A. The events that take place B. The main characters C. The major struggle of conflict or letter D, the details that describe each character. Item number four. The setting of a story describes where and blank the action takes place. Letter A, how? B, what? C, when? Or D, who? And the last item we have... What part of the plot presents the actions made by the character or characters to solve the problem? Letter A, beginning, B, middle, C, ending, or D, both A and C. Now, let us check your answers. For item number one, the correct answer is letter B, setting. Number two, we have letter D, character. Number three, we have letter A, the events that take place. And number four, we have letter C, when. And five, we have letter B, middle. Amazing learners, you have reached this far. We are now on the last activity for today's session. For this activity, you have to read and analyze the story and complete the story pyramid. The title of the story is The Mermaid. Roberto and his father lived in a fishing village near the Agno River. They were industrious fishermen. One day, as they were fishing, Roberto's father could not pull the net. There's someone holding our net, said his father. Roberto dived into the sea. 
he went down into the deep sea until he reached a cave. He entered a cave. There were gold, diamonds, pearls, and other precious stones hanging on the walls of the cave. He was greatly surprised when he saw a beautiful lady sitting in one corner of the cave. I am Lita the mermaid, she said. A witch changed me into a mermaid to guard these beautiful treasures. I give you a good catch every day, but this morning, I hold your net. Roberto was attracted by the beauty of Lita, in spite of her being a mermaid. Will you come with me? Roberto told her. Lita smiled and said, Yes. When they reached the shore, the mermaid was gone. Lita was changed into a beautiful lady. Roberto and Lita were married, and they lived happily. Now, it's your turn to complete this story pyramid. You have 5 minutes to do this. Please pause this video for 5 minutes. And this time, let us check your answers. The title of the story is The Mermaid. And the characters are, we have Roberto, Lita, or the mermaid, and Roberto's father. And the setting is, it happened daytime in Agna River. And the beginning plot is, Roberto and his father lived in a fishing village near the Agna River. One day, as they were fishing, Roberto's father could not pull the net. Middle plot we have, Roberto dive into the sea. He went down into the deep sea until he reached a cave. He was greatly surprised when he saw a beautiful lady sitting in one corner of the cave. And the ending plot is, Roberto was attracted by the beauty of Lita in spite of her being a mermaid. Lita was changed into a beautiful lady. Roberto and Lita were married and they lived happily. Congratulations kids for completing this virtual session. I know that you are now ready to continue to the next level of your learning journey and I hope that you've learned a lot today. Again, this is Teacher Angie, always reminding you all to be good and be safe. Goodbye!